And we are back. <laughs> and we just finished watching Roadhouse, which the is... remake. Which is... I mean, they were talking about it being a remake, but it doesn't really... Uh, what What did you just say? The only thing that it has yeah, in common it, with it, the first the, one is... You know, it, it's a, there's a guy named Dalton who's a bouncer and he works at a bar. But other than that, it's a com- it's, it's a completely different movie. There's nothing similar at all about the rest of the movie. There's yeah. The, like, it's just a, a completely different story. Yeah. And I guess in the original, it's like Dalton learns to quell his you know, rage. unfathomable rage and desire to rip people's throats out <laughs> and this proves... One is like kind of the opposite. Yeah, yeah and um, proves that he's like a good and man. It doesn't... But it doesn't it doesn't go into the reason why he went nuts in the ring, yeah, right? Yeah, no, that's not explained. They never really that's explored. stupid. No. They get another they, they, tie loose. I want to say I thought this film was bad. I thought it was um I fell asleep in the beginning cuz it was boring and um I woke up later and then for the rest of the film I thought it was cringy because all I could think about was <laughs> that guy walking TikTok around and, naked. Oh, oh no, I don't give a crap about that. <laughs> on TikTok, there are all these sli- um things that I see, and um, are they thirst traps? <laughs> no, they're like how um I get satire videos about how to unleash your unleash your inner Beast? Out of wolf, oh, oh. <laughs> and all I could think about <laughs> was <laughs> the slideshows where they're like, "You don't want to see my dark side, pal," and that's just <laughs> what Jim <laughs> Jim <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I could totally see that. It it's was an just, extended TikTok. Yeah, you don't want to make me angry. Don't don't make me re- release my inner alpha wolf or whatever. <laughs> alpha wolves were released. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go around the table and get impressions. Does anyone want to go first? Well, G sort of already went right. I mean. Unless yeah. you have anything else to add. That's all I could think about. Did you questions. have a favorite character? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't feel like... I don't give a shit about spoiling this film. I mean, it's a, it's a direct-to-stream sort of situation. I mean, what's to situation? really spoil? It's... It's not good. It's There's nothing... It's There's fighting. <laughs> And it's not good. It's not really either. even good fighting. Yeah, yeah. It, they look yeah. like video the, game characters. Like I seriously thought for the first fight scene, they actually looked like like they were like playing like Street Fighter or something. And I seriously thought it was like gonna pan out of it like a TV or something, and there'd just be like a little boy playing like. <laughs> yeah, I thought so too. I thought they <laughs> yeah. like zoom out so you could see like them fighting. Yeah, like, yeah the on first fight. I, I you picked it up first. You were yeah, like, why does it look like that? I could, and I couldn't. Like I didn't understand what you were saying. And then all of a sudden, I was like, oh. Well, it yeah. was, I mean, I'm guessing because the first fight was like between Post Malone, of all people, and some, <laughs> some like, you bald know, guy. thick bald guy. And uh, I guess since maybe neither of them really knew how to fight or wanted to learn fight choreography <laughs> or anything, they were just like, we'll just add it with CG. Yeah. And you could clearly we tell see. they're like, when the punch is thrown, right after the punch is thrown, it's like Post Malone. CG post Malone. And, yeah, and it was it, it, it was it's jarring. It, it was, was it weird. Was very it, uncomfortable. It, it, it's. I think they were maybe they were trying to go for some sort of ooh, this is new and exciting way of showing fights. Mm. No, don't don't ever yeah, show don't fights ever like that. that ever again. Just <laughs> just hire a really good fight choreographer. Yes, yes. If we have learned or nothing, like a stunt double. If we've learned yes, nothing from doubles. our time together, friends out there listening to us, you have to do it like the raid. Yes. Hire whoever guard <laughs> Hire, hire him. Just, you know what? Yeah, Learn his techniques. Yes. He should Whoever's- just open a school or something. Yes. And like you study under the master, get a bunch of those Salat guys. Yes. And, yes. And sh- just show really brutal fighting, but with just a camera. No replacing somebody's arm with a yeah. CG fist. It just, it just looks terrible. You know, it's so funny. I recently resaw that video. We should we should link it in the in the blurb if I can find it in time. But we actually are watching this in real time and we're going to try and post it immediately after. But I just recently resaw that video about why that guy that goes into why the scene in the raid is such a good sequence or why the fight sequences in it are uh, yeah, so yeah. good. That's, that's, a, that's a great little that's a great, like, review, yeah, review uh, of analysis of that movie. Yeah, but just and because he also compares it to Taken, which was, it was a good movie. It put Liam Neeson, I guess, back on the map, right? It was an interesting story at the time. This whole guy that just goes and just tries to get his daughter back. But 
there is a reason why the raid is so much better. Mm -hmm. And the guy goes into it. So I was thinking about, and like, as I was watching this, I kept thinking, oh, there's a cut. Oh, there's a cut. Oh, there's a cut. There's a cut. Just like Madam Web, like those awful reviews of Madam Web. You know what? I've heard nothing but bad things about Madam Web, but I am so on board to watch watch that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Somebody actually said it's worse than Morbius, which doesn't even seem possible, but I'm more like the Godfather. Yes. I'm ready to watch this Madam Web. (laughs) I just like reading the reviews on Madam Web because there's such violations. (laughs) Like, I'm so. If I was. On Madam Web, I don't think I would be able to show my face in public ever yeah, again after that. Yeah, although that's Sydney Sweeney's in Sydney it. Sydney Sweeney, yeah. She's in everything. She's doing that nun movie. Uh, that yeah. nun no, she's movie. still she's still popular though. People love her. Yeah. And that other movie she made made a ton of money. <laughs> the one that she just did with Glenn Powell. I barely know who I Sydney look, Sweeney you're, is. I know you're looking at me like <laughs> she's in your favorite show, Euphoria. Oh, she was on that show? Uh the that's not really helpful either. I saw, I saw like one episode Euphoria, of that show and like I was like, this is some ridiculous. weird show on crack or something. Like a bunch of yeah. high schoolers on crack. That's a good description. <laughs> the show and the, the, and show. the characters. They were on Everybody's the on crack. That's why they're like. Anyway, we're on an <laughs> incredible <laughs> tangent. Yes. Well, all right. Back back to the to Roadhouse. Roadhouse uh, 2024. And I'm, I'm just going to basically, because I have to compare it to the original, and there's just nothing about this that is remotely superior to what you saw in the Not Patrick Swayze classic. classic. Masterpiece. Masterpiece, Roadhouse. <laughs> the fights aren't better, even no. with all that CG slathered on top of it. The bad guys aren't better. No, not absolutely at all. not. Absolutely not. Uh, Conor McGregor. I, I mean, is that how he walks in real life? Because I, don't, I know. don't know what he. It was like he was like a like a like a He Man action figure <laughs> with that much articulation in his elbows and knees. He he was just like, and he, he had his fists clenched every time yeah, you saw no, him. He never yeah. relaxed his fist. He walked like um, my eighth grade math teacher. Yeah, he had his entire <laughs> body flexed at all times to the point where he couldn't move normally and he was just such a cartoon character. He built like a one by one Lego figure. <laughs> no, he was not. <laughs> a one by one Lego brick, sorry. He, no. he was such a character. I mean, yeah. he, like I could see, I could see like, Maybe like a, a three minute film with that character being entertaining, but yes, yes. After a while, it was that, just no. like, all right, enough already. Yeah, yeah. It, he was too much. And oh no, I didn't have a problem with that one. I feel like that was like the least of my problems with this film. Really? I, he, yeah, he was just one little piece that was just. Uh, you know what? Of the film, watching him walk around was probably the most entertaining. Thing. <laughs> yeah. There wasn't any good. There wasn't any good quippy dialogue. Not at all. No. no. Uh, Jennifer Williams was kind of wasted as the o- yeah, as the owner of the bar for like fifteen as was Diana minutes, like Melchor. spread around. Uh, yeah, as or was Daniela, uh, Daniela Melkor or, or uh, yeah. rat, catcher? Uh, rat catcher, rat catcher. Oh yeah! Oh my God! I don't. I really um. Isn't the whole point of these films the the man and the woman end up together in the end? What the hell was well, that? I mean, that's what happens that's, that's in the what first one. In the first but, one, but yeah. not this one, because in the first one, Dalton learns to calm his inner alpha wolf. <laughs> and this one, he and, unleashes and this inner one, alpha. And this one, basically, I got the impression it was just, yeah, I'm a homicidal maniac, but it she takes me a while to get there. She yeah. couldn't no, handle no, like, the alpha wolf aura. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, like, he, was, he, he wasn't, like, releasing enough of it. Like, he, he didn't, like, I don't know. But he didn't let out that inner anger like he did when okay, he but like, like, killed that other guy the, the thing in the is, ring. Like just like my final thought with my final problem or not final, but whatever. Just cut that out. My final thought is that usually in these types of films, the dude and the girl get together. Mm-hmm. And I guess you could say, oh, she was upset that he's a homicidal maniac or whatever. But I really don't think I would care if the homicidal maniac I was dating was killing bad people like right right and he's, he's protecting you yeah like he went through all that because you were in danger right and yeah and then he looked for you and went after you and killed these guys 
To make sure that you were safe. Exactly. Yeah. To also to make sure that the town you lived in got better because whatever. I felt he was more upset about the bookstore getting burned down than, yeah. Yeah. than, than her being and kidnapped. That's, okay, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up. But let's go back to this statement because... That's when he really let out his intro. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, there was some... That was like the turning point for Okay, him. I don't know if I'm out of line here, but... There was some commentary in the film. I'll try to be vague, but we all know because we just finished watching this. You don't this. need to be vague about it. There was some commentary directed to Dalton about that little girl. And inappropriate and obviously not what the relationship between him and the little girl was. Well, she wasn't little. She was like a teenage girl. Or he, or he said something like, I can see, like, why you like her or something. It was, like, oh, it was kind of inappropriate because it wasn't yeah, that kind no, of relationship. That was weird. Who said that? The guy at the, like, when he's, when he, Dalton comes at the end. Oh, the guy the gets pool. the throat punch? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, that was a little weird. To your statement, I wonder, not that he had, I, I don't believe, it, I didn't get that impression watching the film, not that he had any kind of romantic designations towards this young woman, but I feel like there's a little bit of merit to what you've just said because of all the people, like, I mean, he even kisses the doctor in this one. Probably did more than that. I mean, we don't know. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I mean, she basically throws herself at him. Yeah. But we don't know what happened, but... He should have let her die. <laughs> but he... What is your problem? And, and no, he does go after her, but he... I agree with you. I feel like he had more dogs in the race with the bookstore people. Yeah. yeah. Maybe because... No, nah, that doesn't make sense either. I was going to say maybe because the kid's like completely innocent. But yeah, the doctor was completely innocent. Although her dad was, was a piece of crap. Was a piece of crap. Yeah. Mom, but she yeah, had nothing leader. to do with that. She had nothing to do with that. Right. And if anything, she moved away with him from, from the father. She went back to the hometown and she assumed her mother's maiden name, she said, in that sequence. Okay. So it's not like know. she... I don't know. All, all I know is that the, the script could have used a lot of work. And like I said, I'm comparing it to the original... Dal this Dalton far less interesting than warrior Zen. philosopher poet, Zen you know warrior. Zen master Dalton. There was no where's the mentor? Yeah, no like Sam Elliott, no Sam Elliott uh, character. You know, for a minute there, I thought that the Doc Master was going to like be the kind nah, of it's, it's gotta be, it's wisdom. gotta be an, an old if it, it should have been like an old UFC fighter or something right uh, a crinkly old man sitting in the corner of the bar Ooh, yeah but bad. but who could beat people to death if he really felt like it the bad guy nowhere near he was some sniveling little guy idiot like the, the, his <laughs> intro scene where he's on that boat getting a shave. Yeah. And it's like the choppiest water ever. And he's like, no, no, don't worry about it. You could still shave me. Yeah. That was ridiculous. Joey, what was that, that was guy stupid. Expecting? It was like, am I, am I watching a comedy now? Because yeah. this is so dumb. This is so incredibly dumb. That guy was an idiot. Yeah. Uh, I, usually... I, I guess, I guess, I guess maybe Conor McGregor <laughs> was a bit better as the, I guess the alpha goon. As, a, as, a, yes, as opposed actually, to the original Alpha Goon, who was that guy who was just like, I used to have guys like you in prison. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. We should watch the original World House with the kids. I think they'd enjoy it. I, think, I, thought, I would love to see G's reaction. She would be just completely <laughs> outraged by the whole experience. I, I, thought bet. You, I thought someone dropped that line in this film. No, no, no. no. In the original. The original is still, still a banger. That. The original is, is a monument to, to the 80s. Yeah. I bet it's way better than this crap oh, i mean yeah. it is to it me is. but i think that you might better. have some some and, notes. and then like the hapless <laughs> townspeople and then everybody getting together at the end and doing what needs to be done it was it, it's just an infinitely better movie if yeah. you want to watch a movie called roadhouse go watch the patrick swayze, swayze roadhouse, roadhouse which this, is currently on regular prime and i think on max through prime channels yeah it but, says but this, on IMDb. But, but this is this is this is not, not it. This is not this is this is I not don't it. even know why this is a remake. So I enjoyed Jake Gyllenhaal. I think he's a really good actor. I think he, he showed did a bit it. of charm more toward more in the beginning. Yes. But as the film progressed, I don't think his character 
had anything going for it at all. Yeah. It was just sort of like, oh, now they've pushed me too far. Now, yeah. I'm, a, now I'm this killing machine. Yeah. And it was just sort of like, hmm. I don't care that you're a killing machine. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, what? Is that your character arc? Is that the big difference? Yeah. That really amounted to nothing. So I agree with you. I thought Connor McGregor's character was somewhat entertaining. I thought Jake Gyllenhaal was solid for the most part. I agree with you. I think towards the end, it sort of loses me. The guy who played Mo, Arturo Castro, the guy that got his comedy relief guy, he was good, but not enough to save this film. I think if I was going to give this a number from one to 10, I think it is just a five and a half. Yeah, honestly, they should have got comedy relief guy to change sides. Instead right. of instead of him like finding some random guy like bartending and saying, yeah. "Hey, you look like you got rough knuckles." Yeah, get that comedy yeah. relief guy. Yeah. So this way you got a little heart going on. Yeah, yeah. And no, I don't think he was Tinker. No, he wasn't the Tinker role. No, there should have been a Tinker. There should have been a Tinker. Just a I big agree. fat guy in overalls getting punched in the belly. <laughs> and I did like uh, the bookstore girl, Charlie. That was her name. In the, she was in all right, book. but honestly, it, it, she was a prop. Yeah, kind of yeah. unnecessary. She was, a, she was just a prop. It's like, oh, the to- the, the thing I, I I had affection for is broken now, and uh, yeah. now I must kill. Yeah. The only other scene I, wa- scene I want to highlight is... I guess towards the beginning. Okay, so we're just going to spoil this, I think. I'm going to wrap this up really soon. But at the beginning where I didn't notice it at first, I guess I was only half awake or something or not paying attention. But you said, or maybe it was you, oh, he's on the train tracks. Yeah, yeah, he he goes the right. The truck. So that yeah, was, sequence was, was very jarring to me too because yeah, that made that that made it seem like th- this is going to be a little bit more of a serious take, right? And then it just became sort of this bland as hell action, action movie. movie. Yeah, and, very. And bland. maybe there were like there is some sort of more to his character. There is like he has like the tragic past or the the hidden secret that you find out, which is. It's not really hidden very well. I mean, you could kind of telegraph where it what was the going. problem was. Yeah, but he doesn't like. But they don't know if he offer any kind of explanation. Yeah, as they don't. To there, there's whatever. no sort. There's no sort of like I through this the course of this adventure. I've learned to sort of like make amends and forgive myself and I guess redeem myself in some way. Yeah, and. I don't know. The, is redeeming himself just killing those other two guys? It's just sort or does of, he not care? I feel like when he slips into his Mister Hyde mode, it it becomes like yeah. I don't care. It's just that you've now pushed me this far, and now yeah. I have to become this uber like, beast that now destroys. I kill for good or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 weak. The story I is, kill to kill without the story even thinking. is so absolutely weak. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Not as fun and entertaining as the first one. No. Again, one to ten, I'd give it a five and a half. Olive G, did you have a favorite character or favorite scene? Mm, no, not really. Not really. One to ten, what are you going to give this film? Four. A four. What about you, Gigi? I was going to say four, too. What about you? Four. Wow. Well, it's proud. not It's not even average. It's below average to me. It really is. Wow. And I was going to say, I think I enjoyed this better than Ambulance. Oh, it's way better than Ambulance. Ambulance was stupid. Yeah, that was a Ambulance terrible Ambulance was film. such a stupid, stupid movie. Another Jake Gyllenhaal movie. But, and that one, you could see he's just like, I'm here for the paycheck. Paycheck. <laughs> I, I think in this one, in the beginning, he's like, oh, I'm going to try and make a performance out of this. Yeah. But then by the middle of the movie, it's just like, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Ph- phone in this one in. Yeah. I wonder if it had anything to do with the drama behind... The scenes. Maybe. Maybe halfway through filming, they're like, oh, we're going direct to streaming. Yeah. And everybody was just like, Pfft, Do you think... I read briefly a few things about this film. None of it true, apparently, because the review that I read was like, oh, it's really entertaining. It's really fun. I'm like, yeah, no, not really. It's, a, it's entertaining for about 20 minutes, and then I don't know what happened to this film. I saw it today... Uh, during one of my classes, he sold us to go on BBC News and pick out an article, and I saw um, New Roadhouse doesn't live up to old Roadhouse, so I didn't have much hope for this. Oh, uh, interesting, interesting. Well, BBC News BBC did News not lie. It. Yeah, the headline is accurate. Yeah, is accurate, absolutely. 
did not tell a lie. I was going to say what could have made this better, but I don't think we care, do we? What could have made it better is if they just re-released the original Roadhouse. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, give it give absolutely. it the uh, give it the Yeah, give like, Swayze's po- polish widow. up polish up the print. Yeah. Make give, it make you know crisp up the, the the sound and whatever. There should be a criterion collection. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and add, add it to the criterion collection, the <laughs> Library of Congress. Seriously. All of that. Give Swayze's widow some money. Yeah. You know, absolutely. Make, make a book. Yeah. The, the wisdom of Dalton. I love where this yeah. went. Okay, yeah. so Or the Tao of Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> Do yourself a favor. Check out Patrick Swayze's Roadhouse. And eh, if you want to watch the new one, it's it's not that good. Nah, below, yeah. below average. It's below average. I'm sure if you really want to see some great action, Joe, go check out The Raid, obviously. Yes, if you want to watch an action movie, The Raid and The Raid 2, two are, are available to watch somewhere. Yes. And they are really good. Yeah. And even if you have to rent it, trust me, you won't it's worth the price. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yes, again, go watch 80s Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze and read one and read two. And that's it from us, and we will bid you all a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.